presence of lead paint in homes is probably one of the greatest pollutants and environmental toxins that we have. It's widespread and it's in the place where children and families are supposed to be the safest. The real danger of lead paint in a house is the dust, what they call the friction surfaces. The windows go up and down, it creates dust. The dust falls either on the windowsill, in the window well, or on the floor. Kids, you know, play on the floor, crawl on the floor, and kids are always putting their hands in their mouth. When children are exposed, particularly under five years of age, their growing nervous systems are very susceptible to the effects of lead. It damages their nervous system. It causes brain damage that is irreversible. In Los Angeles alone, you have 7,000 children, mostly all minority kids, where the blood level have been tested, with a blood level of higher than five. The CDC, Center for Disease Control, tells us there is no level that is acceptable. In the late 1800s, early 1900s, is the first time the medical literature started saying that kids were getting poisoned through lead paint in their homes. And we showed internal documents to the early 1900s that the doctors who were on staff at the paint companies knew and had meetings about the effects of lead coming from lead paint. In California, we have a court of appeal decision that says if you create a public nuisance and you knew that, uh, in this case, the lead was dangerous and you still promoted it, you're going to be responsible. What public nuisance allows you to do is it allows a government entity to bring a lawsuit to prevent harm from a known toxic chemical or dangerous situation and it allows that to happen before someone gets injured. What's important about this case is that the lead paint companies were held responsible for selling and promoting lead paint in our homes when they knew, well knew it was dangerous for children. There will be an amazing program that is in place to provide these services needed to abate homes that have lead-based paint in them. There is a guarantee that children who will be poisoned in the future without this abatement program won't be poisoned in the future. And that's the way it should be. And it took this litigation to get that. I think that this will create a blueprint for what we can do as a public health community, as, as people who are looking to protect these children. It will give us a blueprint of how to do that elsewhere.